My hair was long and flowing and looked like a field of wheat on a sunny day. My eyes were as blue as the middle of the ocean and as soft as the fur of a Pomeranian dog. My nose was symmetrical and fairly small. My lips looked as perfect as a supermodel's lips. My skin was gorgeously tanned from countless days spent sunbathing at the pool and the beach and as smooth as a, river, as a river rock. My neck was long and elegant, like a giraffe's neck. My legs were also long and graceful. My body was thin and tall. The bikini I was wearing was the most expensive and fancy one at the store. The top and bottom were mostly orange, but the orange was surrounded by little black jewels and made the swimsuit look like a pool of lava surrounded by gleaming rocks. The cover-up cover I had on over the bikini was all black and made of silk. Even my towel was leopard print and had gleaming gems on it. At least that's what everyone thought of how I looked and what I wore. I'd like to consider myself a normal person who looked normal and was not the daughter of two super rich celebrities. At least at the pool, paparazzi didn't follow me around like a dog sniffing out a bone. At least at the pool, the only thing people said about me was about my fancy swimsuit and how tall and thin I was. No one could recognize me with my hair under a cap and Gog was covering my eyes and all of my makeup washed off. That's why I went to the pool every summer day. Taking off my cover up, I ran to the edge of the pool, ready to jump in. No running, the lifeguard yelled. I slowed down, but still jumped in with a huge splash. The water was cold, but I didn't care. Flipping onto my back, I swam across the pool on my back. When I got to the edge, I flipped to my stomach and started swimming in a butterfly stroke, slipping under the rope that separated the eight foot deep end from the five foot area. I took a deep, thankful breath as I got to one side of the deep end. Wow. Girl, that's a very amazing, complicated, magnificent um, piece. Um, it's clear that you do write every day. That is, wow, masterful. Um, what to say, what to say, what to say, what to say. So, because I, I, I lose track of things. So let me just say the thing that I remember from, from, from the end. Um, magnificent gesture, you know, you're in the pool and having her flip and switch over to this other stroke. Um, I mean, you're all doing it. I'm just, I just call out things that I notice in, in one just to remind everybody um, of, 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 of following your character's movements in space. So she's really followed this girl that's in the water, in the space and, and what it's like to, um, you know, to, 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 to flip and change strokes. Now, I also wanted to say at the end, which is kind of amazing that you've achieved this, is that if I'm understanding correctly, this character is at the pool, in a way she's hiding. So in a way she's hiding at the pool, but that's where you have basically no clothes on. She's wearing a bikini, so she's basically naked. Um, but in her life, that's a place where she gets away from the paparazzi and, 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 and unwanted attention. And, and that's just amazing, um, an amazing idea for a character. Um, just beautiful descriptions. And I love it that she's the one describing herself at first. And, and, and you do the same thing that, that, that Liam started first, um, um, the, the comparing, comparing the hair to something else, um, the metaphor. So the hair um, was yellow, like, like fields of wheat. Um, then you have got the, oh, this eyes with the ocean, We've got something as soft as the fur of a Pomeranian dog, um, small lips, perfect, like a supermodel. And you really, at the beginning, get a sense that you're going to be describing this really stuck up, unpleasant person. But it really, that, but that is not, not the case. You end up making her sympathetic. Um, and, and, and then we get into her situation that at the pool. She's free from the, from the paparazzi. Um, 
and it's a place for her to hide. So just really, really magnificent, um, spectacular work. So 